Sharon Creech is one of my favorite authors. She is a gifted writer who always keeps readers in suspense and engaged. Her 1995 Newbery award-winning novel, Walk Two Moons, is plentiful in southern slang. Gold dang, jing bang, wing doodle, horse feathers, which keeps her readers laughing as they experience heavier themes of grief, hope, self-discovery, and love. Protagonist Salamanca Hiddle is a 13-year-old perceptive narrator who constantly flashes back to memories of her mother and their beautiful farm in Bybanks, Kentucky. She wants to make these thoughts stop haunting her so much and says, I was surprised that I knew this all by myself, without my mother there. And that night in bed, I did not cry. I said to myself, Salamanca Tree Hiddle, you can be happy without her. It seemed like a mean thought, and I was sorry for it, but it felt true. In Walk Two Moon, Salamanca is on a physical journey to find her mother, while also emotionally journeying through the stages of grief. A friendship with Phoebe Winterbottom, who also seemingly loses a mother, serves as a mirror to Salamanca's experiences, thus helping Salamanca gain insight into herself. There are some heartbreaking moments in the story, bring tissues, but there's also a lot of hope. The setting of Walk Two Moons changes through Salamanca's journey to find her mother. It begins at Bybanks, moves through seven American states and the homes of several families, then comes back to Bybanks. Because her mother loved nature and was part Seneca, Sal describes most settings through nature and Native American history.